Hey, it's Dave Hetrick, uh, Director of Sales for KRK. We're here in Stuart Brawley's uh, backyard studio uh, with Joe Corcoran, his right. engineer. Um, this studio represents a lot of what's going on in the recording world right now in that it's not a million dollar facility. It's, uh, well, it is in San Fernando Valley, so I'm sure it's worth at least a million dollars. Yeah, probably. Um, but it's in a guest house, and there have been major records done here and a, and a lot of great production work. The problem is, is uh, we're fitting it into a space that is not acoustically perfect. Um, we have odd walls and ceilings and some acoustical treatment, but uh, as many of you have encountered in your own setups, uh, you have to learn the room. So what we at KRK have always done is try to make the best recording studio monitors available. If you put them in a bad room, you're going to have troubles with your mix. So we've developed the Ergo unit to correct the room. So uh, Ergo consists of a desktop unit, which uh, also functions as a control room volume, a speaker switcher, a headphone amplifier, and uh, it's just pretty darn sexy. Um, but primarily, its functionality is to correct the room. There are 1,024 filters in there, so you can, uh, it can correct at 100 hertz by cutting it a quarter dB and boost 101 by 3 dB if that's what's needed. So what we're going to do is we're, we're going to shoot the room um, using the included microphone. What we do is we set it up in the focus position, is what we call it, which is basically right where the mixer's head's going to be. Now we have it connected to a computer via FireWire. There's a control panel on, this, on the computer, Mac or PC, that steps you through the process. So it asks me if my speakers are plugged in and the calibration mic is plugged in as well. Continue. We have two measurements on here, one for each set of speakers if you're using two speakers. So we're going to go with A. We hit enter to continue. We'll overwrite whatever memory is in the ergo itself. It tells me that the calibrate button is shut off. Or, so I'm going to turn that on. And we continue. And this is an analog volume pot, but it's digitally controlled, so the computer knows where it is. And it's telling me to put it in the ballpark of where it would like to be. And we hit enter to continue. It tells us to place the microphone in the focus position. Joe, is this about where you'd be? Yeah, maybe a little further back. Okay. There. Yeah. Great. So I'm going to need everyone out there to be quiet because we can't have anything interrupt So right now we're doing a volume uh, calibration, so it sends out the test tones at the proper level. Okay, so now we have the, the level set properly, and we're going to play some fascinating test tones. And it's very, very important uh, that you turn off any air conditioner, that you don't talk, you don't do anything. So... Okay, we've done our first focus position measurement. Um, what we're going to do now is do some measurements around the room uh, for what we call our global mode. Uh, this first measurement is just for the mixer's ears, but obviously uh, you have artists, talent, whatever come in and often have uh, opinions of <laughs> varying degrees. One thing that I've uh, always experienced in uh, studios that I've worked in is there's usually a couch at the back of the studio which is where a lot of the low end will build up. And they're always saying, there's too much bass or, there, you know, whatever. So what I like to do uh, is put the mic where people generally sit. So where would that be? Well, it's funny. We also have a couch at the back of the room, and there is indeed a bass buildup. Excellent. So if we All move right. the mic there, we'll have a good idea what they're hearing. All right. Put this in position back here. And this is just the first of what will probably be four measurements. Uh, something that's really unique to Ergo is that it doesn't have a set number of measurements it does. It measures the difference between that mic position and this mic position and has you keep measuring the room more until it finds that it's figured out all of the common uh, problems with the room. All right, once again. Okay, now 
um, the first measurement is uh, the first global measurement is done, and what Ergo has done has compared its focus position measurement against the the one at the back of the room. And what it's telling us is that room knowledge is at now 55 percent. So we're going to move the mic again, and we'd like to get in in another area. Um, that has some problems in the room where people generally are. Joe, what what comments have you had or what problems have you had in here? Well, apart from the, the back of the room where there is a, a base buildup, uh, what we do have is we do have people sitting off axis a lot of times when they're relaxing and uh, don't really have an accurate perspective of the mix. So maybe if we try somewhere off axis from the, the speakers, okay. like over here. We're going to move this into what we're calling futon measurement number two. Now, an important thing is to randomly place the mic as well. You don't want always literal um, direction with the microphone. So we're just going to point it up to catch possibly some different reflections and buildups. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've now done our second uh, global measurement, and the room knowledge is telling us that it's 80%. Typically what we want is 90% room knowledge or more. Uh, trying to get it up to 100% is, is somewhat futile, and you'll be here all day, basically. So uh, I'm guessing we can get it in one more measurement. So, um, Joe, where's another spot, perhaps? Maybe when reaching for a beer in the fridge? Perfect. Yeah. I, I, I you like how know I know where you're going, right? Yes, yeah. absolutely. In fact, while I'm over here, do you want? Uh, yeah, I'd have one. There's okay. there's a couple in there. Help yourself. Excellent. We encourage drinking when doing uh, room measurements. Um, one thing that you heard with those test tones is that it's not a standard pink noise or white noise. What we've done with the measurements is trying to, with the dissonant tones, uh, build up problems in the room. So once again to beer position one, but global measurement number three. Okay, we've done our focus our focus position measurement, and three global measurements. Now the beer position was so radically different than the other two positions that it has not increased our room knowledge at all. So we're going to have to do at least one more measurement. Uh, what do you think? Maybe uh, over by the organ, or oftentimes if we have a bassist or guitarist, they'll be sitting oh. slightly off axis in this area Perfect. here. Perfect. 